Yeah, so I remember it was, it was August 9th and it was a busy morning like most of our days are in parks and recreation. And um, I received a phone call that there was a rescue at the swim center here. I heard the whistles go off and it sounded like two whistles to me and two whistles here at William Lane is just an active normal water rescue. And so when I look out the window and I see a man facing down in the water, like unresponsive, it was just like pop in my mind. I was like autopilot, I grabbed the trauma bag, we went out, we extricated the guy, we got CPR down. One of our other head guards had come in um, and he started helping as well. And it was just like, it all happened so quickly, you know. We do pretty intense training to have everything kind of stuck in our brains and melted in there. So when we do have situations come up like I did with Fred, then we're autopilot ready. Our staff do a uh, monthly in-service where they come together in small groups or all together all at once for roughly an hour to an hour and a half to practice so that gets our staff into the mindset of lifeguarding, what they're to do if something were to occur while on shift. The big things that we do is making sure that the staff not only are adhering to StarGuard standards, but adhering to some of the standards that we have is in place also. Backboarding, spinal management on land, general BLS care, everything from the really major things like that all the way down to the minor stuff like bloody nose or, or little ones come in from swim lessons with an upset stomach. Here at Willamling Park Swim Center, we have a dive tank which goes down to 13 feet. Splash, our other facility is a wave pool, so we have to learn how do you enter waves from a height because the wave, at the wave's highest, you're still going to be jumping in about four feet. It's something they've already done, already learned in the classes before they were hired, and that they practice more in depth during our monthly end services. Every one of our days is different. And, you know, we're parks, we're recreation, we're fun. But at any given time, we're going to be called upon to do something very serious, and in this case, life-saving. He came back actually uh, a few weeks after, and he visited us, and it was really nice to see him while he wasn't unconscious. Um, he said that he was doing well. He was doing like physical therapy and stuff, and that was really cool to see like that he's doing okay, and just like knowing that someone that could have had a completely different turnout here at Lamb Lane. Um, had the opportunity to have another, another life. I'm just so proud of the efforts of everyone because it's not just you know, one person that jumps in the water, it's a group of people that have to act you know, within a split second. I love what I do and these guys are fantastic at what they do.